Alrighty, folks, so we are here at Roll for Damage, and we are live with the Iron Painter Challenge 2017. This is the first ever one, and we've got 11 competitors, some of the best and the newest painters in the Greater Augusta area. And one of these tonight is Jason Binder. He is well known for his excellent painting, and uh, he is going to give us some tips and advice on some of his techniques on how he expects to win tonight's challenge. So, Jason. Make everybody stick as we go around. <laughs> what you got going on? So I am doing a uh, technique I learned on YouTube from me, me, um, utilizing nail polish to create toxic sludge. Mm. See, I've done the first two here. Um, the smells bases. fantastic. Needs to wipe this out. It's a very simple technique. You want room temperature water. You don't want it too hot or too cold for the technique to work. And you simply take a variety of nail polish. Um, you have to use the slow drying. You cannot use the fast drying for this. And you pour a little bit of it as a skin on top of. That's on top of regular water. Yes. Slow dry nail polish on regular water. Okay. And you can do this for a variety of effects. She actually shows in her YouTube video how to do it to make lava as well, which is also another really cool effect. But I am doing Nurgle, so Toxic Sludge is a, a much better, better color scheme. I imagine for lava you'd use like reds and oranges and maybe a little white. Reds, oranges, and uh, very pale yellows, yeah. not quite whites. Okay. Which is why I'm not competing. The thing, okay. all those are colors that women put on their nails. Take a stick and you kind of scroll them around to create a real cool kind of look. I can oil slick is the goal. For anyone who's not familiar with Nurgles, they are like the dis disgusting, disease-ridden, bloated demons of the Warhammer world. So the grosser, the better. Take some bases, just some white paint on the top, and you submerge them in. You're going to blow the water off to the side so that you don't quite pull as much up when you bring it back up. Take your stir stick too and... So it forms a skin. Holy cow. And you were left with a swirly toxic sludge on the top. You'll occasionally get bubbles a little form, which will just add to the effect. Wow. Well, that's really something, and hopefully we all learn something new. And we can also see that it's a little challenging to get them off your alligator clips. How long do they take to dry once they're like this? Um, anywhere from, had some dry in as little as 10 minutes, and others have taken 30 minutes to dry. So okay, that's not too long. It to be dependent on how much of the... Uh, the nail polish ends up on top of the, the base. Huh. Now once they're dry, what do you do to finish them or treat them? Um, you could leave them as is. I'm going to actually add some of the texture paints from the Games Workshop and add kind of some sandy edges to make them look much more like pools or part of a larger pool mm. with edges. Um, but like I said, you could use them as is if that's what you desire. That's amazing. All right, well, thank you so much for sharing that. We are live here at the Iron Painter 2017, and we'll be back later with some, uh, some more painters and their advice.